shown. Okay, come on, Miss Rayleigh. I guess Miss we can Miss Becca see. has been doodling through our whole meeting. Look at these doodles. She's, She's so doodling gifted. Doodling for the uh, kids camp. Um, so coming up this Sunday is the annual luau um, on the 11th from 2 to 7 p.m. Um, there's going to be inflatables and a lot of really great food, a speaker. There's going to be music, games, free t-shirts. It's The whole day is free. Um, so we really encourage you to help us spread the word about that because we only have so much reach and that's where you guys can come in and you can continue to spread that word um, for us. It's for anyone entering sixth grade um, and up. So it's a youth event and this is a really big outreach for us. We get a lot of people involved through this event in our ministry and plug them in. So if you know anybody in that age range, we really, really encourage you to get them to come out um, to the luau and please feel free to let me know if you have any questions, but we hope to get as many people there as we can. So. Here's to Sunday and the luau and praying that it doesn't precipitate. <laughs> they will have a great time either way, though. It'll be fantastic. Okay, let's go outside. Good morning. It's great to be back with you. I had a great time in Pittsburgh and I uh, got to worship at a church there with my son Alex and um, got a lot of insight and was blessed. And um, I'll be talking and sharing about some of those things here in the weeks to come. This Sunday, we're going to be talking about truth. And we've been talking about general revelation and special revelation, special revelation being God's word and how from there, that's truth for you and me. But when we have to make an argument to the world, a lot of people will come back and say, yeah, that's fine for you, but um, I don't necessarily follow the Bible. And so we have to use other means um, to present evidence regarding our faith. And Paul says in Romans chapter one, and also in the psalmist says that we can look at the world around us and it proclaims God's glory and the truth and evidence of God's existence. So we're gonna be continuing to talk about those things so that you can have a conversation with people who may or may not know God's word, but we are, we are convinced that that God is real we are convinced in his son and what he did for us at Calvary and we're gonna be talking about that of course this Sunday and a little bit more on Father's Day I also want to say something um, about prayer time this Sunday I listened to Becca's sermon and she did an absolutely fantastic job and she, um, thank you Becca for opening up and sharing your story with our people so many people were blessed by it this Sunday in worship, we want to focus in on praying for those who are battling illness. And um, we're actually going to get in groups and we're going to have leaders. We're going to lay hands on people and just focus in on people. And then we're going to talk about praying for research like cancer research and funding for battling illnesses and diseases. We're going to really focus in and ask God to, to, to bless that work and also to bless the people who are in the fight in the trenches because we know that our bodies are connected to our spirits. And when we're hurting physically it can affect our faith so please come this sunday it's going to be, i believe the lord's going to have a special blessing for you and, it, and it's going to be a meaningful time so i look forward to seeing you then here are our children's ministers hard at work working on schedules schedules king's kids camp don't forget promotion sunday this sunday 10 o'clock all the kids will be promoted up to yes. the next age level. And so parents, everyone is welcome to come into the sanctuary at 10 o'clock. It'll only be about 15, 20 minutes. And then the kids get to go with their new teachers for their new Sunday school class. So this week. Miss Raylene, tell us a little bit about Families of Faith. Families of Faith is something fun we try and do once a quarter. But this summer, since we have more free time, we're going to do one a month. So June, July, and August, we'll have it a date set aside at someone's house where there'll be swimming and food and fun and all the families are welcome to just come and join us in our first one will be even though the bullet the newsletter said it was on a thursday we're actually moving it to saturday june the 15th or june the 17th, 17th. i'm sorry june the 17th from 12 to 3 and that one will be at our house so just come we'll provide hot dogs and they can bring whatever food you want we'll just swim fire pit volleyball Lots of fun, so come bring your swimsuits, uh, meet other families, and have a great time. 12 to 3. Say hi, Miss Carol. Miss <laughs> Carol doesn't like to be on camera. <laughs> Bye. Have a good day, ladies. Okay, and there you have it. Keeping up with the staff this week. Um, we have a lot of things planned for the summer. And um, awesome worship this Sunday. The band will be leading. It's all, always awesome when you come into God's house here at Blanchard Church of Christ. So I, I hope we see you on Sunday. Okay, have a great week, everybody. God bless you.